doctor will be the one who will, which will feed on the glucose produced by the plants and give us the electrons or the things that we need to generate our electricity. What, 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 what forms are you and how are you inspired by today's event? We are graduates now. And yes, that's a great reason. We just completed we just completed SHS and then as you can see here, the whole team who were inspired by the whole team, our mistress, everyone supported the teachers, the staff, everyone in the school we were inspired by them and we and the whole train by our teachers and the whole team supported too. There are some people after competitions like this, then they just go and sleep. What are you going to do? 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 We are going to use it to maybe put things with equipment that's needed in doing such projects like this one. Because when doing it, we didn't have enough equipment to use. But with the money given us, we just have to buy the equipment then. And maybe if a chance comes, they will have to take part in the competition again. So we do them. Yeah, the, the energy sector is, is, is looks like a male-dominated sector. And when you be encouraged to pursue uh, uh, engineering course at a tertiary level, and for us being here, we should also encourage others, the female out there, to engage themselves in such programs. Because what males can do, as you say, females can also do it better. There are males in the competition, and the female here emerge with us. So you hope to become an engineer and work in the energy sector in the future? Yes, okay. Okay, that's nice. So let's turn our attention to uh, one of the, of the uh, tutors uh, who have this uh, wonderful ladies to come up with. Chief, how are you doing? Please, what, what is your name? My name is Samson. I do now. And you are one of the tutors? Yes, yes. So today your your girls have made the school proud. Yes. What can you tell energynewsafrica.com? Okay, what we say is that um, in the beginning the project um, started, it was um, a gradual process and then there was a lot of research that went into this project. And then at the end of the day we have become winners. What we say is that we need support from all over the world that will help us to um, commercialize our work yeah. because it has come to stay and everybody saw that it was working because how can we um, generate the electricity from the bacteria already in the soil or you can decide to plant your own um, seeds as the, the, the plant grows then the photosynthetic process that is placed also give you the glucose that the bacteria feeds on it and then the electrons have been given. Okay, so if you get help from the other authorities, that will help us. I know that we will be able to commercialize this one, starting from the rural communities who do not have access to electricity. And how much do you think this, this project, if you want to commercialize it, it will cost? Well, we, first of all, we did it in DC. That is a direct carriage. Okay. If you just need this one to power some small appliances like the fan and then also maybe charging your mobile phones, it will not cost you more than 100 years. But if you want to power higher, higher appliances like your televisions, which requires higher voltages, that is where we have to convert the direct carriage that is being generated from the soil into an alternating carriage. If you are able to, with the help of an inverter, so if you are able to do that, then every household will be able to enjoy the, the livelihood just like those in the urban communities. So would you encourage uh, young, young people to, to develop interest in the renewable energy sector? Now, that is what 
globally, everyone is pushing for now. Yes, I will, because what, as a teacher, I've seen that the, most of the students or kids, they have a lot of um, talent in them. But who is to motivate them? If you are to encourage them that, oh, whatever they have in mind, you put it in practice, they can be able to generate something. That is where the idea came from. Initially, when we were um, planning for this one, we sat down to discuss which project we did. And the idea came from all the students, the other teachers supported it, and were able to come. So we would just encourage everybody, any idea that they have, you have to bring it on more. We will just search into it and find out whether it is feasible. Then we go ahead and do it. Thank you so much. I will now take you to the, the project that the, this wonderful ladies did. Now we are there. So over there is Yama Pension Bacteria Powerhouse. This is exactly what won uh, the award. The award for them to say it's a wonderful uh, project and they have named it Deepana. Deepana. It's a society that this young ladies have been able to come up with this project. Africa is the shine, Ghana is shine. Thank you. Stop me.